Let's do a Tunisian simple rib stitch, shall we? So we're going to um, get some Tunisian simple stitch going with a chain of an even number. I'm totally making this up as we go along. I think an even number will work. If it doesn't, then we'll figure out that we needed to do an odd number next time. So let's get started together. So I'm going to chain a bunch. Then I'm going to do the traditional start by pulling up a loop in the back ridge or back bar of each chain across and leave it on my Tunisian Afghan hook. I have a uh, J size hook today with um, yarn that is worsted weight. So I do like a bigger hook for than the yarn usually calls for. I do have an entire Tunisian crochet playlist so you can go check that out on the beginnings and how-tos of Tunisian, Tunisian Simple, Tunisian Knit, Tunisian Pearl. You got the idea. The Tunisian Yarn Over Lace pattern is on my Tunisian playlist. It's quite popular. Go check that out. Okay. So I'm just pulling up a loop in each chain across. So we now have one for one. I have one loop for each stitch. And um, the re so that was the forward pass, picking up the stitches, and now I'm going to return pass. I'm going to do the traditional return pass, which is yarn over, pull through one loop on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, all the way across until one loop remains. This is the traditional return pass, and that is the return pass I am going to use for this entire stitch pattern. So row one is very easy, traditional uh, Tunisian crochet, very basic, nothing special there. Row two, we're gonna do the same. So we're skipping this first vertical bar because the loop on the hook is in fact the first vertical bar of the next loop. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's do Tunisian, do I wanna do Tunisian simple stitch today? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Tunisian simple. So I'm just inserting the hook in the front in the vertical next vertical bar, pulling up a loop, pulling it through and leaving it on the hook. We will do that all the way across. Remember, there are videos on my Tunisian playlist for Tunisian knit and Tunisian pearl. So it'll show you different ways to insert the hook to create different fabrics. But today we're doing the Tunisian simple stitch until we get to the next row when we can start doing some ribbing. So on the end, don't forget to pick up two loops there on that last stitch and do the traditional return pass with a yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way across until one stitch remains. I hope you're having a great day today. I love Tunisian crochet and I thought this purple blanket that my daughter Mara made would be a nice backdrop for this light colored yarn. Okay, so we're skipping again the first vertical bar because the loop on the hook indeed counts as the first vertical bar. I'm gonna skip this one and instead work one row below and we will not work in this one. So I'm gonna yarn over insert the hook uh, Tunisian simple stitch wise, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and leave it on the hook. So it is the start of a double crochet there. Got it? So skipping the one that's behind this, I'm going to just Tunisian simple stitch in the next. Then I'm gonna rib again with a yarn over uh, skip the current one, the working one that I'm supposed to work in, work in its little brother below, Tunisian simple stitch wise, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Okay, so we'll continue that pattern all the way across, Tunisian simple stitch, then Tunisian double crochet, one below. Tunisian simple, and the next, Tunisian double crochet below. Tunisian simple, and that will become the foundation of our Tunisian double crochet ribbing. Oh, I guessed correctly on the right number of stitches because the last one should be a Tunisian simple stitch. 
and there is our row, uh, actually row three, isn't it? So I'm gonna yarn over and do the traditional return pass. Yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over and pull through two, all the way across. So I'm just doing the traditional uh, return pass. So yarning over, pulling through two, all the way across. And you'll see the rib start really developing on this next row. So much fun. Now I know that you're probably interested in will it curl? Yeah, it's probably gonna curl. <laughs> Um, I do have a video on my pl playlist on how to not or how to stop Tunisian crochet from curling but when we're pulling stitches on the front surface of the fabric it's um, it's an issue it is an issue for sure so the first vertical bar we're uh, skipping because the loop there is the counts as this first first vertical bar we're gonna go ahead and rib in the next rib so instead of dropping two rows below we're gonna go one below in that long stitch there and pull up a loop and yarn over pull through one i'm sorry yarn over pull through two and leave it then we're going to skip the stitch that's behind that mess and instead tunisian simple stitch in the next then working around that post of the rib yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two tunisian simple stitch in the next you get this the point here so we're inserting around that whole cluster of yarn over the double crochet that was below Tunisian simple in the next so we're alternating those two stitches always leaving one loop on the hook because this is Tunisian Good. we're gonna change color soon so much fun okay the front loop of that Tunisian simple stitch and around the double crochet there and finishing with a Tunisian simple stitch around in the last two stitches there pull up a loop so this is what it looks like you can always count the loops on your hook before you do the return pass and make sure you have the right number of stitches if you get confused. If you need to pull out your hook, you can totally pull your whole hook out, put the hook back on just this final loop, and then pull the yarn out until you get to that stop, and that'll then you'll just restart the row. So if you ever get confused on Tunisian crochet, that is one way to rip back without too much hassle. Yarn over, pull through one loop, then yarn over, pull through two loops, each across, all the way across until one loop remains. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until you can't yarn over, pull through two anymore because only one loop is left. Okay, let's do another one, shall we? Let's do another row. This is how it's looking. Can you see the ribs developing now? Okay, so yarn over. Insert around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, then Tunisian simple in the next stitch. The next vertical bar. Yarn over, work around that cluster of yarn over from the double crochet, then Tunisian simple in the next. You can get creative and creative fabric where you um, skip more stitches and you don't have to do a one for one ratio you could spread out your cables your little but this is an introduction to uh, Tunisian cable work because it is post stitches it is um, double crochets long double crochets and it creates a ribbing and Tunisian simple one more double crochet and Tunisian simple in the two vertical bars of that edge. And this is what it looks like. We're getting there, friends. So you can see the ribs developing with those Tunisian simple stitches lined up in between ribs. So cute. This would make a great hat or a cowl. 
You could make a hat where it's just a big rectangle and like the pointy little corners on the end if you like. Make a great cowl and make a really nice uh, husband scarf. <laughs> Work it in a dark color. Cables are always, I think, um, traditionally masculine, although women look great in cables too. Okay, so there's where we're going. So easy. So it is just a simple one row repeat. So we're gonna go ahead and yarn over and work a double crochet around the cable. There we go. Work Tunisian simple stitch, work around the cable. Just get it in there, it's just yarn. So easy, so fun. It's supposed to be relaxing, friends. If it's stressful, then don't do it. Swatching is so much fun because who cares if you mess up? You're just practicing. You're just playing. It's fun. There's no pressure. Just see what happens. Worst case, you rip it out, right? It's all good. Okay. And the last one. Get that last stitch in the two vertical bars there. Ah, there we go. Wish you could feel this little this little texture. Can you see the texture and the light, the vertical ribs that are happening? Very cute. And let's yarn over and pull through. Now, just like any of the Tunisian stitches, you could end a bunch of different ways. You could totally finish your project off right. <laughs> I was gonna say right now, but I need a few more seconds. You could totally finish your project off right now, like that, and leave that gap there, and you could work the edging into a gap if you wanted, or you can do the row, but finish it off. So these would all be finished stitches, and by what I mean by that is you could single crochet around or actually you would double crochet, but you would finish the double crochet around that rib. So you could finish the stitch by yarning over pulling through two, yarning over pulling through two. And you could finish the stitch by single crocheting in that vertical bar. And you could finish the double crochet by going around, it's a front post double crochet really, by yarning over pulling through two, yarning over pulling through two. Single crocheting a complete stitch in the vertical bar. Again, front post double crochet in completing the stitch. So I'm not leaving any loops on the hook as I finish this off, see? I'm not leaving any loops on the hook. I'm just finishing it off. Single crocheting in that vertical bar. Double crocheting and finishing off that stitch with yarn over pull through two twice single crochet in that first in that next vertical bar and double crochet around the loop the front post double crochet really single crochet in the vertical bar and one more set of them and single crochet catching both of those edge stitches there and that's another way to finish it off and so that has been tunisian rib tunisian their front post double crochets in that rib pattern so i hope you've enjoyed this video please give me a like if you did please ask any questions in the comments below subscribe to this channel for more giveaways tutorials unboxing swatching and all sorts of other fun thanks so much